from Ocean Bay Park, Fire Island, New York. And it looks like a ferry has just arrived in the Atlantic Ocean front community. But let's talk about getting here via bicycle, as that is the route that I chose today. And we are at the island pantry of Ocean Bay Park. The Atlantic Ocean is right down in this direction. And here is the Great South Bay. This is the town of Brookhaven, and we are at Flynn's, a Fire Island icon since 1937, which is pretty amazing because it survived the hurricane of 1938, rather devastating for this area, and created some of the personality for some of the communities afterwards. Now let's talk about riding. And I've pointed out uh, Ocean Bay Park as the destination because I started at the Fire Island Lighthouse, parked the bicycle, uh, after parking the car, it's $10 to park your vehicle. Now this is the last Friday in which they are charging for parking here. This is a September 10th look and starting on Friday, September 17th, there will be free parking. Now you can ride your bicycle all the way here from the Robert Moses Park parking lot five for the Fire Island Lighthouse through Kismet. Ocean Bay, Salt Air, and this is pretty much as far as you can comfortably go on bicycle. And again, that would be to Ocean Bay Park. And the ride took one hour. It took me about one hour to get here from Robert Moses parking lot five at the Fire Island Lighthouse. Now there's not a full bike path. There are areas like Lomiville where they ask you to walk your bicycle. And then when you get to Robin's Rest, uh, it's going to be all sand. So there are some areas where you have to walk through. Over by the ranger station at the Fire Island Lighthouse, uh, there's an area that sometimes you can ride on and sometimes if the sand is a little bit too soft. So it really depends on the temperature and how much water is in the sand. But I just wanted to point this, is, point this out as a route to consider. Free parking on Friday after 4 p.m. or free parking for this year, which is the 2021 year of Friday, September 17th. Now the next community over is a private community called Point O Woods. They do not have a bicycle path. And then there is Sailor's Haven with the sunken forest. They do not have a bicycle path. Cherry Grove has wooden boardwalks as well as the Fire Island Pines, but they do not allow bicycles. So every community is different. So that's why I'm pointing this one out. If you do want to go further east, and that's the direction we are looking at right now towards Pointo Woods, you certainly can, but you're going to have to walk your bike as you head further. Or if you've got your beach cruiser, these wheels work in the sand, but also it depends on the uh, how soft the sand is based on how dry it is from the warm temperature. I've seen people with wider wheels that are able to get through. I find it easiest uh, to ride through if there are some broken shells in the area. And that's an update from a recommended bike route on Fire Island, New York. And again, I expect one hour to go back. And then in Sea View, Sea View, there is free air. So if you want to adjust the, t the uh, air pressure for your wheels based on if you're riding on pavement or on sand or you're out with the bike and you haven't checked the wheels, you can stop in Sea View. Not only do they have the free air pump, they have the uh, free water fountain for you to hydrate. And that backpack is filled with water, so I am ready for this. Till next time, from Fire Island, New York.